the city of mine It never gets me down City of mine How I love, how I love the city of mine It never gets me down, yeah Hello everyone, it's Em, welcome back to my channel Today's video is a week in the life of a teacher. <laughs> I'm a high school teacher here in Queensland, Australia, and I teach dance and drama. And it is the first week back at school for term two, and so I thought I would film this week so you can get different perspective of what it's like to be a teacher. Obviously, I can't show any of the actual teaching aspect because I can't show any of the kids, but I can show tons of behind the scenes things. Down in my classroom, and I have two big packages of costumes that I just ordered for dance competition. My kids are entering next week, and let's see what it looks like. Ah! I found this little butter knife <laughs> and then I have my keys. So hopefully one of those two things will open these boxes. Oh, it's working. <gasps> oh my God, you're gonna die. Oh my God. These are the bows. These are the cheerleading bows. Oh my God, they're huge. <gasps> I like how they're really rigid actually. That's really cool. For anyone wondering where I got these cheer bows from, I got it from this company. Um, they're actually, I think they just operate off Instagram, but they make like tons of cheerleading hair accessories. And um, they were like definitely the most affordable. Like a bow like this would normally cost like, like the Jojo bows like so expensive. And these worked out with shipping to be $11 each and they're custom. Like I picked the material, I picked the little silver things. So. Oh, they're such a vibe. This is a shirt I bought for some of the boys. It's a true muscle tank. All this stuff's just from Cotton On. Because they just have really cheap, like, basics. And for dancing, that's, like, really good. Ooh. High-waisted leggings. Oh, they're nice. Okay, and these are what my cheerleaders wearing. They're little shorts. So I really hope they're not too short. Oh, my God, they're really tiny. Oh, God. But this is a size medium. Okay, and then the other thing I did buy though is a bunch of these caps. So everything worked out good, but I just don't know about those little pants because they're so small. I don't know if like when they're on they look good and they look fine, but... Oh. Is my husband not the sweetest human ever? He is moving me like a passion in his mind. local little dance competition we're doing two like educational groups so I've got like two lunchtime groups that we do and they're gonna both compete and I've also started a little disability dance group and I've got like seven seven or nine I forget now of them going to do a solo and I'm literally dying they are just the most beautiful and oh I just love how this is like a section for them the dance is just like their place and it's no judgment and oh I'm so excited Happy Tuesday everyone, I just got to school, there's the date, there's the time, I don't know if you can see that. It is not even 7am! Today is going to be mammoth, like I'm scared. So basically I have a full day of teaching, we have two lunch breaks, in the first lunch break I have a full cheer squad rehearsal, um, and then the second break I have duty, and then after school from our school finishes at 2.50 and until 5.30 we're doing another cheer rehearsal. Wish me luck for today. <laughs> Here's today's fit. I have my red Converse and then I've got this new pair of black greyish um, high-waisted jeans because my other pair, I have a pair that is like really similar to this like mum jeans but they don't fit anymore so that sucks but oh well. Um, I've got this little belt and just like a plain white t-shirt and this is my hair. It is raining very hard outside so minimal effort was done to the hair and makeup today as will be like that for the rest of the week good morning everyone happy tuesday i just set the board up for my first lesson today they're learning about cannons but not the military type and as i was wiping off the stuff off the board i literally had to wipe off 10 penises what is their obsession with drawing penises all righty my dears let's do it from the top <laughs> Pop, pop. Left, right, left. High, low, high, low. 
<laughs> All right, we are in Kmart now. It's like 6 p.m. I wanted to come into Kmart to look for some shoes. I wanted all my cheerleading girls to wear the exact same shoes. How much are these? Oh, they're in special for $4, but I mean, I want them all to have the exact same ones and I don't think there's a lot of them. But these ones, they're eight. What, they're 10? There's literally so many to choose from. <laughs> Woohoo! You locked me out, you ding dong. <laughs> so I was worried someone was going to murder me. It was raining. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Yummy! this week I've been having really good lunches I've been making sure I've been packing my lunch but today is not one of those days and I really need to get going so <laughs> real life of a tea shop this is what I'm having the most quick and easy lunch I've got a tin of my absolute favorite tuna if you have not tried it get on it I'm just gonna have that on some corn thins and then from a new cafe in my town my husband was there the other day and he picked me up a little treat he surprised me with a little brownie so i'm gonna have that and we have a little bit of cream left so i'm literally going to bring this thing of cream for lunch <laughs> <laughs> really quick little otd for a wednesday i've got this pink corduroy dress on i really vibe this material um but the only thing is it's really thick so i only wear it when it starts to get cold um and in far north queensland that is rare and then i've just got my black lorna jane tights on and white connies and hair in a bun. Happy Wednesday, everybody. So I thought while I'm waiting for the rain to settle, I don't think it will, but while I'm in my car, avoiding going into school, drinking my smoothie, I decided to make it to go. Um, I would just give you a quick little rundown of what a Wednesday looks like for me. I really like Wednesdays. Um, I have a spare right in the middle of the day, and two classes and then a break and then another two classes. I do have a duty today. I'm pretty sure it's in the library. So because the weather is hectic, I think that duty will be hectic. And in the library on Wednesdays, it's meant to be tech free day. So typically all the kids come into the library to play like computer games and stuff, but on tech free day, um, they're not allowed to so there's often a few like meltdowns and happy thursday everybody let's do it let's have a little practice of course you can woohoo i'm so excited and then, yep. that's it good job you know it's thursday when this is your pile of laundry <laughs> Good morning everybody. Happy Friday. Woohoo! We have made it. I have had a rough couple of days and last night was no exception. I really struggled sleeping. I basically stayed awake the whole night. Um and so this morning I've really needed my calm drink. I think I'm going to take today nice and slow to calm myself down. I'm not going to have any rehearsals at lunchtime today even if the kids come begging, which I know that they will. I'm gonna just have to lock all the doors and lock them all out. Um, and yeah, I've got nice leftover pasta for lunch. I've done a few jobs this morning. Now it's time to go. An iced latte with no sugar syrup. Is that on the word? Um, just a regular thing. So I'm gonna sit in my car and have my hash brown, have my iced coffee. I did really want to quickly talk about, I don't know if I included it or not, but basically on Wednesday, I had a really rough day. I'm not going to disclose anyone's name, um, any exact situations. And just let you know that this is like a very real reality of teaching high school age students, especially in a rural community with tons of different backgrounds. On Wednesday, I had an incident in my classroom where there was just an unexpected out of literally nowhere cruel act of violence between two females and one female assaulted another one and it actually scares you and you actually don't know what to do they do not train you for this type of thing in university and I really don't think that some teachers get enough credit for and I'm not talking about me but I'm talking about a lot that put up with this sort of stuff a lot and have been assaulted themselves and feel scared going to work 
and these are all very real things and there's a lot of times that I feel scared going into my classroom and I'm not saying this to discredit my school at all because I think my school is awesome like this is such an awesome place to work but these are harsh realities of teaching it is very very hard and I pray today's a better day <laughs> So this is the state of my desk at the moment. It's very chaotic. I'm up here on my spare, having my coffee. And I've noticed that... <laughs> <laughs> Rachel is here. <laughs> and she has kindly agreed to <laughs> be in the video. So this is Miss Boland. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, beautiful with her blue hair. And so what do you teach, Miss? Mainly art. Oh my gosh, and let's get an OOTD. It's Friday, so I did put um, funky earrings in. Love, Blue hair, thank you, that. Lexi. Jumper is a shout out to Caitlin because I was cold. <laughs> so fuzzy, I love it. <laughs> uh -huh. And then we just get a bit of a t shirt action. There is no one size fits all um, if you want to be a teacher. No. You can have tattoos, you can have piercings. And it's really cool, these days you can just be yourself, like back in the day. Definitely. I don't agree? think, um, I personally don't think that it affects you at all. Um, I just have them and they just become part of me, but my students are in interested for like a lesson and then they don't care. It yeah, doesn't matter to them anymore. So it doesn't affect anything whatsoever. Mm. So if you have them and you want to be a teacher, Go get around for it. it. It's alright. <laughs> yeah. What's yeah. your favourite tattoo? My crocodile. Oh, that's Shout so out cool. um, Daniel Papp on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed um, this video and had a little insight into what it's like to be a teacher. Um, and if there's any questions, let me know in the comments below. And subscribe, because <laughs> I'll be uploading again soon. So I'll see you later, guys.